Hi there and welcome to Hegarty Maths, it's Mr Hegarty here and I'm making a special video for all our maths GCSE students out there. In this video I'm going to talk to you about my top 5 tips to smash your maths GCSE this summer. It's going to take me about 10 minutes and I'm going to try and impart the wisdom I tell my classes uh, in order for you to do as best as you possibly can. So here are my top 5 tips. Okay, tip number 1. The very, the almost the most important tip I can give all of you out there. Believe in yourself. Get rid of some negative thoughts you have about maths. I get a lot of students on Twitter and YouTube saying they're low in maths confidence. They're not sure they can do it. They they don't like maths, etc. Rid yourself of those thoughts. Okay, you've got to start off on a level footing. You can do it if you work hard and you're dedicated. You're going to be successful in maths. Maths is one of the best subjects in the world that rewards students for hard work, okay? So believe in that. If you work hard, you're going to do well. That's a fact, okay? There's nothing else about it. You're not good or bad at maths. It's how hard you work. Just to prove my point, anyone that's successful in life, anyone who's made something good about themselves has done it through hard work. And maths is no different. Look at Beckham here. My secret is practice. I've always believed that if you want to achieve anything special in life, he says, then you have to work, work, and then work some more. David Beckham's not a success in sport and other aspects of his life, a rich man, because he's lazy. It's because he worked hard. He's not naturally talented. He worked hard. Michelangelo, the greatest painter of all time, some say, people even say he was born with a paintbrush in his hand, which would be... Uh, painful for Miss uh, Mummy Michelangelo, but nevertheless, look what he said. Someone who has been supposedly thought of as the most naturally gifted painter of all time. If people knew how hard I worked to gain my mastery, people would not think my wonderful my works are wonderful at all. So he's saying, look, guys, the reason I'm so good is because I work hard. Maths is the same. You work hard, you're going to do well. Get rid of your negative thoughts. Okay, guys. Tip two. I always say this to my students, don't revise, instead practice. What I mean by that, when I hear the word revise, I think, right, we're going to sit down and we're going to read a maths book. Or we're going to sit down and we're going to make some really pretty maths notes from the summary chapter of our textbook. That's not how you revise maths. In fact, you don't revise maths. The best thing to do is practice maths. And by practice maths, I mean do questions. So I want you to do as many questions as you possibly can, and that's the best way to revise <coughs> maths. Now, a little bit more on that, just a couple of extensions. When I say uh, do questions, this picture here about the guy on the edge, do questions on things you're not good at. Do questions on topics you aren't so good at. It's all very easy to go and do all the nice questions you can do, like your, say you're good at adding fractions, I'm going to go and do all the adding fractions questions. Identify what you're not good at through the work you've done with your teacher at school, through your previous tests, and fix that. So work on the edge of your ability. Now, I also say, some students get something right one time. I say, don't practice until you can get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. So when you've done all the topics you're not so good at, go back and practice all the other topics until you keep getting them right. When you keep getting things right, your confidence improves and you know you're going to do it on the day. Last thing to say about practicing. When you do exam papers at home, do them in timed conditions. So do exam papers in timed conditions. And if you finish the paper early, don't put your head on the desk. Practice checking. This is one of the key skills for students who do as well as possible. Practice checking your answers. Does the answer look sensible? Have I written my units? I'll do the question again and check if I've got if I've got it right. Remember you've got an hour and 45 minutes for each of your two papers and there's plenty of time there in order to practice checking. So don't just practice the questions you can't do, do those. Practice the ones you can do until you never get them wrong. And then also practice how to check in the exam, how to sense check your work, know if you're right, and use your calculator. Okay, guys, tip three. And I can't tell you this enough. Always, 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 always 
Mark your work when you try exam questions. Sometimes students think that if they've done questions, that's enough. You have to either use Hecate Maths to find the right answer or use a mark scheme or ask your teacher for the answer and mark those questions. When you mark the questions, then what you do is you would highlight, I usually get my students to highlight the question like that if they fully got it right so they know they don't have to do it again or alternatively, if they made mistakes, highlight it in red or pink or something like that so they need to go back over it. Then I get them to use a green pen to redo the question uh, to get the correct answer. Okay, so if they got a question wrong, what they need to do is they need to um, highlight it pink, write the answer in green and come back to it at a later date and retry that question. If you don't mark your work, what you've done is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. If you do not mark your work, you may as well not bother re revising or preparing or whatever you're doing. You have to have to mark your work and correct it. Okay, tip four start today okay you should have already started and done some work but if you haven't start today and do some maths every single day maths is one of those things you need to practice regularly so you need to be doing at least an hour a day you can't let up on your maths if you let up on your maths you'll probably go rusty and not do so well on it so start off today and work every day until that exam lastly tip five I think that what the website we've made, the HegartyMaths.com, is really useful for students to revise. Go to HegartyMaths.com, register and sign up to the relevant courses. And I'm going to take a second at the end to show you this. So firstly, if you go to Hegarty Maths, how do you sign up? Well, you go to the checklist section. You can sign up here. Put your first name in, your last name, your email address. It's important you put your school in and tell us you're a student, put a password. If you press register, an email goes to that email address that you've put in here. You click on the verification email there and you will be redirected to the site where you can now log in. There's a video here telling you all the benefits of doing that and signing up. Now what do you get if you sign up? Well, let's take a look at uh, my site here. So if I go to Hegarty Maths here, I'm now signed in. What you can do is you can go to your profile, you can go to courses, and you can update your courses. You can choose uh, Edexcel Higher, Edexcel Foundation, Secure a C or B, and AQA. Now I've made the Secure a C. I recommend that even if you're going um, for A stars, that's a great course to sign up to, and maybe this one. So let's have a look at those. If you sign up to those courses and you go into those particular course. So every time you go on the website, make sure you sign up. Have a look at the course. At the moment, I've got 30 videos there. Well, 29 videos going through the most popular topics I've identified on the course. These are the most popular topics I've seen come up each year. And so what you do is start on video one. Okay, I've got a printout that you can print out here. So there's the printout for it. What you do is you watch me on the video, do this uh, teaching, and then I've collected all the past papers here. You pause the video when I finish teaching, try the questions, and then you mark your work off the video. So going back here, if you played that, hi, there we hey, go. Welcome to a Jesus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that at the start I teach it, I go through and teach you how to do it, and then halfway through, when I finish the teaching, I tell you to pause the video, and you're supposed to pause it at that point. Try the questions yourself, having printed out the printout, and then play it onwards and mark your work. If you get it all right, you can click green. Look at your pie chart updating when you do that. If I click green, pie chart updates to green. If you got a little bit wrong, click amber, and if you got a lot wrong, click red. And you can see your uh, uh, pie chart updating over time. And this goes on to the, the latest video I did today was averages from tables. So again, you've got the printout here, guys that you can print out and work through that matches the video. You play it, you watch me teach it, so my teaching will happen usually on the first couple of pages. Then I will tell you to pause and do the exam questions. Then you do them, you play the video, and you mark your work. Again, if you understand it, you can click uh, green. If you don't quite understand it, 
you can click amber and if you got it all wrong you can click red. The aim of this game is to get that pie chart totally green and the same thing works in the higher if you're in the higher um, course here the exactly the same thing works so you can work through the higher course just the same way. One last thing to say about the website if you go on to back at home if you go to um, revise GCSE you'll notice I've done all the past paper questions we've done. So if you go to past paper questions higher, you can either look at them by topic, they've been categorized by topic, so every standard form exam question is there for you to work through, or you can do them by year. So if you want to work through uh, last year's paper, there you go, and you can pause the video, try the question, and work through all the answers. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that uh, really useful in your revision, but do sign up to HagertyMaths.com, register and sign up to a course today. I think you'll find it really useful to track your, track your progress and I hope those top five tips really helped you. Remember, you can do it. The exam's a good bit away. Start today and things are gonna be successful for you. Thanks for watching.